this is part two of editing terrain all right in the last video I showed you how to paint height in alpha blend in this one I'm going to show you some more stuff all right so go ahead and draw your brush left click and drag and go to patch simple terrain patch okay really didn't have it selected my bad make sure it's selected I didn't even see that all right go <laughs> patch simple terrain patch with five height five there you go there's your terrain patch all right all my verses seem to be locked on let's say um sometimes they won't be all right let's say I uh, it's just me I like to be neat just select the verses and it Control G and it shoots it and snaps it to a grid, the closest one. And I like to be like that. Alright. Or let's say um you have two terrain patches and you should already know how to paint height if you watch part one. And you have them at different heights. It's just one instance do that right and let's say you want them to both meet at one height that you would like it to be or it can work for any other any other train patches or any part of that one train patch you want to select them both go to grab value height and you want to go ahead and alt and left click the height you want the first all right you got that down now it's going to shoot to flatten for you did you see that Pause it and go back if you didn't. Go ahead and do all of go over all other verses you want that height to be. See? It's instantly going to that height. And the default is zero on the um Z axis, which is right there. That's where it automatically go to. If you didn't grab a value. Alright. And let's say you want to split a terrain patch. You're going to hit V for vertices. Get out of terrain editing options. Select at least two in a row or column that you want to split the terrain patch at. And now it's going to split it right down here. Hit Control, Shift, X at the same time. Alright, got you two terrain patches. Yay. Now, let's say, oops, I didn't want that. Mm, if you've never heard of undo, I guess, you can go ahead and select V again with both of them selected. Hit, alright, V, and then do that in wheel, W. You don't have to do it for everyone, I'm just doing that, for example, down that row. And it should be one train patch now. Alright, now there's, there's that. And I'm just used to quick saving so much. Um, that's a little bumpy right there, as you can see. It can happen like that. So you want to go to height and smooth. And that will help you out a little bit. I really don't use this that much, but yeah, it should help you smooth out a little bit your train patches. I guess it's not bumpy enough to do it. Oh, there it goes a little. Yeah, just smooth it out for you a little bit. You can do that after you paint height, usually. Yeah, I just use regular paint height with a lot less amplitude. That's all I'm going to show you in this part. There may be a part three. I'm going to keep this short and easy so you can follow along. And you can go back over to part one, do that, and watch part two again. Right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you see part one.